You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family for the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Popone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know it could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to dip you up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but... Didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner. He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam are whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mine to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. 
gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam, can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. OK, boss. Good. Now, we got to talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. OK. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. And get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Challenger's department store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements, and only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. 
That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against grift stepping back on the field in our time of need. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's department store and Hank Turnbull, leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for governor. Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Paid me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way. Then just keep heading up. Hey! Get out of there! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! Coming from no. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome. I'm here. warning you, Mister. <laughs> Have you seen my rat?
Why can't you people just leave us be? This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming through. the guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. I had a job. A good job. Don't judge, Mesta. Hey, who's this? You bring trouble. Where's the guard tower? You'll find it. You always do. You're already dead. Aren't you?
fall off the eviction. Show some compassion. This place is all we have. Please. I've got nowhere to go. Can I help? He took it. A what? Well, you think you can just walk through here? This is our place! Who Don't try no hell? funny stuff. <laughs>
long have I been out? everyone you see the police it's the police we'll only 
they come back, bastards! Outside. Turnbull was a good man!
Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. Says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> 